I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Colonial Williamsburg. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one finger over here on the left and put a dot. And from that dot I'm just going to draw a slightly straight line all the way across to the other side of my paper. Down below I'm going to write Colonial Williamsburg. This is the capital of Virginia, Williamsburg, around 1699 to 1780. Okay, starting back over here on the left, the first thing we're going to do is take three fingers and put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a rectangle. Straight line, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Right inside at the top, we're just going to draw a straight line across. We come over here on this left corner and we draw a straight diagonal out on the left, straight diagonal out on the right. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a straight line down on the left and a straight line down on the right. We come back up to the left and we're just going to draw that straight diagonal out and a little straight line in. Come on the right hand side, straight diagonal out, little straight line inside. Now what you're going to notice is that all of this is very symmetrical as far as the buildings and the architecture goes. Whatever we do on the left, hello, we're going to do it on the right. So we take two fingers over here on the left and put a dot and we're going to draw that rectangle again. So we draw a straight line across, straight line up, straight line over, straight line down, connect. Inside we draw that little straight line again at the top. Come on the left corner, we're going to draw a straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right, come back to the left, straight line down, connect, straight line down, connect on the right. Come back up here and we're just going to draw a straight diagonal out, straight line in, straight diagonal out, straight line in. We're going to now draw a little straight line, jump over, little straight line, leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, little straight line, jump over, little straight line off the page. In the center, let's put two fingers and put a dot. Now from that dot, we're going to draw a straight line to the left, come back to the dot, straight line to the right. Straight diagonal out on the left, straight diagonal out on the right. Come back to the left, let's draw a straight line across, connect. Come down, straight line down, straight line across, straight line up, connect, straight line down on the left, straight line down on the right, and now we can connect that little line right there. Inside, right here at the bottom, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. We're going to put a straight line down the center. We come up and we're just going to put a rounded curved line and at the top one, two curved lines on the left, one, two curved lines on the right. Starting on the left right here we're going to draw one, two, three, four skinny rectangle, skinny rectangle, jump over, skinny rectangle, skinny rectangle. Come up to the second layer, it's like a cake. Let's put straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. These are squares. One, two, three, four on the left. One, two, three, four on the left. Jump over. One, two, three, four on the right. Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. 
on the roof, on this space. We're going to draw another square to center us. One, two squares on the left, jump over. One, two squares on the right. Inside each one of these rectangles and squares, if you can fit it in, we're going to draw a straight line, two, three, four, going across. Straight line, going across. Straight line down, going across. Straight line down, going across. You do it on each one. A straight line down and then it's crossing one, two, straight line down, one, two, straight line down, one, two. If you can fit more, that's better, but for sure you need at least this many. And now you do it up here. This is definitely an architectural component that you wouldn't necessarily find any place else other than Colonial Williamsburg. All right, now come over here to this point. I know it's a lot, but look, bear with me. Straight line up on the left, straight line up on the right. Come back to the left, straight line out on the left, straight line out on the right. Now, straight line down, connect on the left, straight line down, connect on the right. Skinny rectangle at the top on the left, skinny rectangle at the top on the right. Draw a straight line in between, zigzag, 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 zigzag inside. And now in the center, skinny little square, skinny rectangle on top. One, two, little straight lines, curve line, curve line. Now we can add one, two, three, or more. One, two, three, or more curve lines. Okay. Let's see what else we need. All right, now that we've drawn this, we're going to come back over here and we're going to draw another straight line. Jump over. <clears throat> Excuse me, another straight line jump over. Now, starting on the left, over here we're just going to go wavy, wavy, wavy line, wavy line, connect. Right here we're just going to go wavy, wavy line, wavy line, connect. Come over here on the right, we're going to go wavy, wavy line, wavy line, connect. You're going, what are those? Trees. All right, let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, it looks to me as if all of these spaces that are the building parts, they almost look like they're all made out of brick. So if you've got a red-brown, this is a multicultural beigey color. We're going to do the main sections of the buildings this color. And it carries through all the way on the outer buildings. That's what these two are. It carries on to this, which is like a walkway. Jump over, walkway, jump over, walkway, jump over, walkway. And this space, this space, not this space, the next space, this space, all the way around. Now, this is the governor's palace, and that's why it's pretty fancy. You wouldn't see normally all of these glass windows the way this is, but this was the governor's palace. Think colonial. Jump over. So this is all that brick, beige, apricot, peach, light brown color. Then, with gray, you just color in this space at the top. All the way over, up, and down. Then, because it is Virginia, it's got greenery, 
So these are trees. This is a tree. And this is a tree. And the whole entire space is like a park almost. I forgot to do my cupola. That's this little addition up here at the top. Okay. Now, with my blue-green, I'm just going to add some blue straight lines in the background representing my sky. You can add your own. This is just my suggestion. Really, it's a beautiful place. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is Colonial Williamsburg, all colored in. This is the Governor's Palace. If you Google Colonial Williamsburg, the site is wonderful. It takes you up through all the buildings and all the activities that are available there. Okay, bye-bye.